Hello everybody, it's Cool Restricted here and welcome to my modern church build. I'm going to be doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to build this big thing. But before we do that, let's just do a quick little look around of it. It's a pretty simple build actually. It may look maybe complicated for some of you, I don't know, but it's actually really simple. Very simple color palette as you can, or block palette over there as you can see. But yeah, the outside is just consisting of small details, mostly with quartz. Look at the backside. Very nice. In fact, this yeah, you could build this uh, inside your survival world if you'd like. In fact, if you guys want, I do have a Let's Play series, and I actually build this thing inside of my world. So inside is also really simple, but if you guys want, this could just be like a structure to hide like one of your farms. So you can just fill the entire floor with spruce if you'd like, and then put whatever you want in here, like a sugarcane farm or anything. But I will be t uh, showing you guys how to build this entire thing right here all these little benches this altar everything so let's get to the build all right like i said very simple color palette we're going to start with the outside color palette or not color palette i mean block palette very simple right it's going to be a smooth case or whoops it's going to be some smooth stone smooth quartz slabs however you can use regular quartz slabs if you'd like to smooth quartz slabs some smooth quartz stairs then some pillar quart blocks, then some smooth sandstone, then some frog light, or you could use glowstone, either one, and then we will be using a birch trap door later on. And let's do just a quick uh, showcase of all the materials. If you guys are building in survival, I will be showing you how much of these materials you are going to be needing. I'm sorry if these uh, numbers are incorrect. I tried my best to see uh, how much blocks it would you, you'd have to use to craft those things. But anyways, you, you're going to need three stacks of smooth uh, quartz slabs. And then you're going to need almost 12 stacks of smooth quartz staircases. Then almost three stacks of pillar quartz blocks. Then 65 of the frog light blocks, the orker blocks, or you could uh, use glowstone. If you're building a survival, I recommend using glowstone because it might be easier. But you could use either one. And then 23 lanterns. Now uh, you got a birch door, 17 birch trap doors, you have almost 6 stacks, or that's 5 stacks, almost 5 stacks of spruce planks. Then you got 51 red concrete, 26 light gray concrete, 1 lectern, 1 book and quill, 2 candles, a stack of dark oak staircases, plus another 20 dark oak staircases. I think that's 28 dark oak signs, and then in this chest, we have a grand total of, if I'm not mistaken... This should be 18 stacks of smooth stone plus 6. So yeah, almost 18 stacks, a little bit over. But anyways, let's just get right into the build. So we're going to start off with our pillared court, uh, court blocks, right? These are pretty much what we're going to start off the build with. Also, if you guys do want to see, this is a 23 by 28 if we're including these little blue blocks. But if we're just looking at this big uh, square right here, the red and white, it's going to be 21 by 26. So start off in the corner. We're going to place down a block. And then we're going to skip four blocks. And on the fifth block, we'll place one. So there should be a gap of four in between. And we'll go along the sides like this. This is going to be one side of the uh, building, as you can see over there. So like I said, skip four blocks, place a block. Skip four blocks on the fifth block, place one down. Skip four blocks, place one down. Skip four blocks, place one down. And you should have six in total, like so. Now this is going to be the back side of the build. We're going to do the same exact thing. Skip four blocks, place one down, skip four blocks, place one down, skip four blocks, place one down, skip four blocks, place one down. And then we're just going to replicate what we did on the other side. Pretty simple. You're just going to be skipping four blocks and placing one down. And the front's going to be a little bit different. So you are going to skip, once again, four blocks, place one down. Then I recommend going on this side, skipping four blocks, placing one down. And that's going to be it for just like the framework, I guess, for our foundation. Don't worry about this front bit yet. We'll get to the door later. Now for the sides. Don't worry about these uh, five little pillars in the back and the back and front. Don't worry about those three. Don't worry about these two fronts for now. Pretty much you're just going to build up 13 blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. And you're going to pillar up 13 blocks for all the side pillars. So we'll 
skip ahead of the tutorial so you guys can just finish that. All right, now that you have both sides pulled up to 13 blocks, now we're going to do these blocks real quick, and you're going to do these ones up to 17 blocks high. So, and this is going to apply for both the front pillars that we haven't pillared up yet, and these pillars right here. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Align with that. 14, 15, 16, 17. Also, when I mean 17 high, yes, I do count this block right here. So, this is one right here. This is two, and so on and so forth. So three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, oops, twelve, thirteen. Aligned with that, as you can see, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. So those should be the same, and we'll do that to the back side as well. All right, now that we have this entire thing filled up with our pillars, we could finally use our staircases. And congrats, you've used almost all of your pillars now. So we're almost done with our pillars being used. Now you're going to take your staircases and you're going to go around like this to every single pillar on this entire build. So pretty much, like I said, you're just going to use four staircases and you're simply just going to go around like this to every single pillar on the build. Okay, now that we've gone around all to all the pillars and, you know, you filled them up with the staircases, now we're going to go to the sides and we're simply just going to do this to only the sides. We're not going to do this to the front and back pillars so we're going to place one block right here and one upside down staircase and we're just going to repeat that around the build like so whoops not like that you're going to have a one block gap in between as you see here and we're pretty much just going to do that to all the sides of this entire build i'd recommend that you actually watch this video once if you were to build this for yourself inside of your world i'd recommend watching it once before you actually like build it that way you have like an idea and you don't actually accidentally like start building something and then like realize, oh, I messed up. So like I said, we're going to do this across all the side pillars. Okay, now that we have this done, we could finally move on to our next little bit. We are going to start building the frameworks for the roofs and stuff, I guess you could say. If that's what you want to call it. But yeah, so first we're going to take out our smooth staircases like so. And we're going to go to this top block right here on the front. Oops, not like that. We're pretty much just going to place down three slabs on this topmost staircase. And you're just going to mirror exactly what you do on both sides of the build, like so. So whatever I do on this side, you're going to do on that side. Now we're going to come down here, and on this topmost thing, or this topmost pillar, we're going to place down a regular staircase, like that. And then we're going to take out two quart slabs, and we're going to place one, and then another one. So they should not they should look like a full block, but they're actually two separate slabs, as you can see. And you're going to place that one adjacent right there and one above it. So now we're going to take out our smooth quartz staircase and we're going to place one like so right there. Flat against the pillar like that. And then we're going to place a filler block. We're not going to, this is just going to be temporary. You can just place that down right there. Take our slabs out. One right there. And then we're going to take out another block. Place that. And then we're going to put down a staircase like so. Break those two. And place one slab underneath like that and we're just going to replicate what we did on this side to that side now that we got that all finished up we're just going to start doing the top bit so we're going to place down staircases like so on both of these pillars right here and we're just going to fill in between with slabs so you can see over there that we're starting to build the rooftop so now we're just going to take an upside down staircase place it like that then we're going to do a regular staircase on top of that one and now you're just going to alternate Upside down staircase, regular staircase. Upside down staircase, regular staircase. And what I recommend doing is that you like slowly build both sides, you know? You build up this side a little bit, like somewhat towards the middle. And then you're just going to pretty much like want to have the meat in between. So I don't know how many blocks it is high, but like I said, just build up the one side a little bit, then build up the other side, and then pretty much just go from there. So you'll see what I mean. So we're just building up each side slowly. And they're like, all right, so that's going to come in the middle, like so. Now we're going to have this one block gap in here, so that's not too much of a big of a deal. We're just going to place a temporary block right there, place an upside down staircase, then we're just going to turn around, then place a regular staircase like that, so it's facing like this against the church wall. Now that we have that done, let's quickly build in our little circles, as you can see over there. So we're going to count up four blocks from here. So one, two, three, four. Four, and then we're going to place down a staircase like that. A regular staircase. So that's going to be four blocks in between there. 
Then we're going to place down one staircase that's upside down. Temporary block, another upside down staircase. We're going to go down here. Temporary block, ups, or regular staircase. And then we're just going to replicate the exact same thing on this side. Like so. Very simple stuff so far. And then we're just going to build this exact same little door right here on that side of the build. Congratulations, now you have most of the framework for the front of the build done. So now we're just going to go shift over to the back side of the build. It's like literally almost the exact same. So same as that side, we're just going to place down one little staircase right there. Then we're going to take two of these quartz slabs, pillar them up, and then... We're going to place down a staircase right here. It's going to be one block beneath this pillar if you built this up 17 high. That's why it's a little bit important to do everything in the order I show you. Because it kind of helps in the long run. But anyways, we're going to do two blocks out. Place that right there. Then we're going to take our slabs and place them like this. So you get this little nice pattern. And then like the other side, you're just going to place in some slabs in between here on this most, uh, this topmost, whatever it is, staircase. Pretty much we're just replicating what we did on that side. And we're just going to mirror that to this side. So now we're just going to do the exact same thing with the roofing. The details on the back are a little bit different than the front as you can or as you saw when I did a little quick twirl around. But yeah, we're just going to place, my bad, we're going to place down a staircase right here. And we're going to place down another staircase over here. Fill in between with some slabs. And as before, we're going to place down an upside down staircase, regular staircase. And then we're just going to pillar up, or not pillar up, just staircase up like so. Upside down staircase, regular staircase, and then until eventually you get like somewhat in the middle. And then if you just want to make sure that you get that right, we could just come around here and pillar up this side just a little bit. In survival, this definitely is a little bit of a pain to build. I did build it in survival. It took a little bit, but it took me about like, I'd say like two hours to build this thing in survival with all the materials and stuff. That's not including like me gathering the materials, but yeah, it's a pretty simple build. It might be tedious to get up uh, to the high spots and do everything, but it is what it is. Same as before, we'll just place a temporary block down there. Whoops. I <laughs> didn't mean to do that. And then we're just going to place down an upside down staircase. Then turn around, regular staircase. Like that. So you can see that we have that pretty uh, well done. Now we're just going to do the exact same thing with the windows on this side. So you're going to count up four blocks. One, two, three, four. Place down staircase. Like so, upside down staircase and regular staircase. You could mu pretty much build this in whatever like order you want, like this, like windows or stuff. Try to build like the general structure in like the same order as I do, but like when you're building these windows and stuff, you could like build it in any order you want. <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You could copy the way I do it, you know, you could do it your way, whatever's easier. We're just going to replicate what we did on that side to this side as well. So, like I said, count up four blocks, then some staircases. Placement block right there. Delete that. Very simple. And the reason why the we put these windows here, and we also have the cross over there, not only it's a church, but also actually serves as a good cover up for some light sources. You will see um, these frog uh, these frog lights come in useful or glowstone if you, you're using that. We actually use glowstone in our survival world. But yeah, the light sources definitely will help uh, light up this build as it does get dark during nighttime. So now that we have that done. Let's actually start doing the sides. So one thing I forgot to do on this build, I guess, because I had to replicate this in another creative world into this build, I forgot to do the sides, uh, or some detail on the sides, but pretty much what we're gonna do is we're just going to count up four blocks as over there from the windows. So one, two, three, four. And then on the fifth block, we're just gonna place down a staircase. Then we're just gonna place down a regular staircase. And then we're just gonna mirror that on this side. And you're pretty much just going to place two slabs in between. So you should get this little, like, I don't know, structural thing right here. I don't really know. It just looks cool, I guess. And you're just going to repeat this across all of the sides. So keep in mind, four block gap in between here on the fifth block. You're going to place an upside down staircase, then regular staircase. Then on that regular staircase, you're just going to place two slabs in between. So we'll just do that for all sides real quick. Okay, now that we have all the sides done, as you can see, like that. Let's start actually building some of the, you know, roofing a little bit. So the roofing is really simple for this. You're pretty much just going to, not on these blocks right here, the ones where like this like little loop-de-loop -loop or ring, whatever you want to call it. You're not going to build off that. You're going to build off these like little like roof that we did. 
You'll, you'll, you'll see what I mean. So pretty much we're just going to take this block and just go across like that. All the way till we hit the other side. And then for the slabs, you're not going to go like underneath like that. You're actually just going to... Whoops. You're just only going to build off the top slab. That way we can actually save ourselves some blocks being used. And yeah, it'll just save us some resources in total, I guess. Or in the long run. So yeah, you're just going to pretty much replicate as you see. Whoops. A little bit hard to do in creative. Well, easier than survival, I guess. But yeah, you're just going to come across like this and slowly build the roof like so. And you're just going to replicate what I do on this one side to the other side if you are building along with me or, like I said, I recommend you watching this video at least once and then building it. But yeah, whoops. And that's pretty much almost the same for this little rooftop right here, except uh, we're not going to build off this bottom bit right here. We're only going to build off this uh, top bit. And you'll see why in a little bit why we're going to do that. But pretty much you're just going to keep building across like this. You don't have to worry about those upside down staircases underneath these blocks. Like I said, we're going to save ourselves some materials being used just by completely ignoring just building off of those. So the top bit's going to be a little bit different. You guys will see once we get to that. But, yeah, like I said, it's a very simple build. Not too much to it. Easy to do. Then this top bit, we're just going to come across with slabs. So now that you have that one side done, I want you to replicate what you did on this side to now this side. Alright, now that we have that done, we could finally... Or we're, we're almost done with it, or we're almost getting to the part where you have to fill this thing with smooth sandstone. So now you're just going to come across the sides and you're just going to start placing block or upside down staircases adjacent to the pillars. So you're just going to line up your mouse or cursor or whatever it is and you're just going to go directly above from that. And then on this staircase right here, you're going to place down the upside down staircase. And you're pretty much just going to repeat this for every single time you like get a parallel pillar to it. So you can see like this block would like link up with this pillar right here. And you're just going to do that for every single uh, side pillar, I guess. So you could like kind of know where they are, I guess you could say. If you guys are want to be really mathematical about it, it should be the exact same as the bottom bit. There should be four blocks in between these gaps right here. And there should also be four blocks in between those gaps right there. If you guys really want to be sure that you're getting that down right. So anyways, now we're going to just take our pillar blocks. We're going to place down a pillar, then a regular staircase. And we're just going to do that across all of these bits. So now that we got all of that done... We're just going to come to this side and we're going to place down an upside down staircase. Like I said, actually a little bit, like a couple minutes ago, the reason why you don't want to like build this across is just because we're only going to have these staircases right here for this little bottom bit. And you're just going to replicate what you did on this side as always to this side. Okay, now that you got all those pillars and stuff set, now we could finally get to the smooth stone part. So what we're going to do here is we're just going to we're going to start off with the sides. I recommend starting off with the sides when filling up with your smooth stone. But pretty much you're just going to build up this entire smooth stone wall all the way until you hit one block underneath this little roof bit right here. And you're just going to go up and down like so. You guys will see in a bit what I mean by that. So, you're just going to come up and down. Whoops. A little bit uh feisty right now. So pretty much you're just going to do what you did. This is going to be like a 4x13 I believe. And you're just going to build this 4x13 square across all these side bits. So I'll do one more with you guys. And then I'll just cut to the part where we have all the sides done filled up with smooth sandstone. Like so. Relatively easy. See, just like that. And we're just going to pretty much repeat that across all the sides. And this side as well. All right, now that we have the sides on, I'll quickly <laughs> quickly show you guys what this looks like. Like I said, it's just just be a four by thirteen, and you should have these like little five columns going across the side. Now we're gonna fill up the fronts with the uh, stones, and then we'll fill up these little bits right here with stones. The reason why you're leaving up a gap up top is, you know, you just want to save on materials. To be honest, that's pretty much what I'm doing for you guys. I, for especially people who try to build this in survival, you're just gonna save up on materials if you just leave that gap in between. All right, so now we're just going to pillar up once again to this spot, right? However, this side's going to be a little bit different. You're just going to keep filling these gaps right here until eventually you're just going to hit the roof, as you see I'm doing. So you're pretty much just pillaring, it, pillaring up in between these blocks. 
up all the way until you eventually reach the top of the roof. And you will see that we do leave a gap in between where the staircase meets. So we're just going to replicate what we do here on that side. And don't worry about the side bits. We'll get to that in a little bit. But like so, you're just going to pretty much replicate what you're doing all the way up. So I'll actually just show you guys real quick this because I think it's a little bit important that you get this down. So yeah, like I said, we're going to carve out some blocks. So we'll end up having to punch some holes and make some room for some stuff. But yeah, so if you want to save, if you want to save on one single block, then you don't have to put a block right here. So yeah, you guys are welcome for that. But yeah, just pretty much replicate this and you're just going to pillar up all the way to the top. So I do forgot to mention, but like I said, you do want to leave a gap in between these pillar bits right here. But when you see these little staircases right here, you're just going to place down two blocks like that. And you see I did the same thing on this side. But now that we're done with this little front bit, we're going to move on to the sides real quick and then we'll get to the back. The sides are really simple. You're just going to come across with the um, pillar blocks and you're just going to build across like that. Pretty simple. You're just going to come across like so. So it should look like that. And we're just going to replicate what we did here on across all the sides. Okay, so before we finish the backside with our smooth sandstone, we're actually going to place down some of our lanterns right now. So with the lanterns, you're going to go in between these little crevices right here. Not like that, but you're going to want to place it so the chain is hanging from top. And you're pretty much just going to want to place down these lanterns on the sides in between these staircases. So you can actually do this in the beginning if you want, when you're like initially pillaring up. So you can place down these uh, lanterns right here to maybe save yourself sometimes or sometime. Or when you're like pillaring up with the smooth sandstone, you could also place down these lanterns. It's really up to you when you want to do it. Same thing up here, just above this block. You're just going to place down a single lantern like so. And make sure that the chain is hanging from it, especially for that bottom bit. Just so maybe it looks a little bit nicer, I guess you could say. And if you also do want to change this build for yourself, you can use smooth stair or smooth sandstone staircases right here instead of full blocks. I don't think it matters too much, but yeah, because as you can see from down here, I don't think anyone's ever going to see that, but <laughs> yeah, do as you please. But now moving on to the back side, we're just going to do the same thing as the front, pillaring up all the way. This little gap right here, we are going to have to place down one block like this, so... But yeah, for most of this, you're just going to be pillaring up until eventually you're going to hit the ceiling. Which is pretty convenient for us. Do note that we're not going to build off that side. Place one block right there just to fill in the gap. So when you look on it from the outside, it's like not empty or weird or anything. So as before, whoops. As before, we are just going to pillar down like so. And yeah, that's like pretty much it. So I'll cut to the part when we finally are finished with that. Quick side note, you are going to have to actually build up some blocks in between here all the way on this pillar. You're going to have to build some blocks until you eventually you're going to hit this slab right here. And then you're just going to leave this entire column empty. That is different from this side, so I do apologize for not mentioning that. Okay, now that we're done with this back side and actually all the smooth sandstone. Yes, that is correct. We are done with all the smooth sandstone. You're just going to punch yourself a little hole. For this uh, little gateway right here and now we could actually finally build ourselves the little door so you are gonna punch out a quick little doorway like that and then this is just gonna be two blocks gap in between the staircase and same on this side so now you're just gonna build in a staircase regular staircase staircase right there regular staircase right there and we are building the doorway here and you're just gonna do that for this little bear here now you're gonna place down some Pillared court blocks like so. We're going to place them upwards, not sideways. I'm pretty sure there's not a single sideways pillar court blocks in this build, but yeah. Then we're just going to place down some upside down staircases as you see over there. Now we're going to take our slab and place it in between there. And then we're going to get to the rest of the uh, inside later. But for now, our doorway is semi-complete and we're finished with that for now. Now let's move on to the cross, as you guys can see there. We're going to go to the top of our door and we're going to count two blocks. One, two, and then we're going to punch out a hole. Now this hole is going to indicate of how our cross is going to look. So now we're going to punch out six blocks from here. So this is one block punched out. So six blocks upwards from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then on this block, we're going to punch this one out. 
then we're gonna punch out the adjacent three blocks like that and punch out the adjacent three blocks over here then we're gonna punch out two more blocks i believe yep like that now you're gonna take out your glowstone glowstone or your frog frog light sorry guys it's been a long day and you're just gonna place these frog lights vertically and then on these sides a bit or for glowstone it doesn't matter but for these frog lights you can place them down on their sides like this keeping it somewhat unified so now you have that cross finished let's take out our staircases and you're going to use upside down staircases for this bit you're just going to place them down across whoops that's our other staircase but you're just going to place <laughs> did it again you're just gonna have to place them down like so and you're just going to repeat that for this entire vertical strip then for the horizontal strips you're going to place down some slabs and now we have our cross done Okay, so moving on to this front little window right here, we're going to count up half a slab. So it should be the next full block on this front side bit. You're going to place down an upside down staircase. Then we're going to place down some regular staircase right there. If we can, there we go. Do the exact same thing on this side. Now we're going to take out our slabs, place down one slab like that, another slab up there, then one slab right here. And then we're just going to punch out this center block right here. Then you can place down a glowstone or frog light, frog light whatever one you have. Then we're just going to place it on a trapdoor like that. As you guys can see, the exact same. So moving on to the back side of our build, we are going to build a couple of the arches that you guys saw earlier on the back side. So what you're going to want to do is go to this pillar right here, or that pillar, doesn't matter. You're going to, and then you're going to count up six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. You should be on this same line as this uh, staircase right here if you did the window correctly. Then you're going to go up one more block, look right, then you're going to place down a regular staircase or upside down staircase like that. Then you're going to take out your two slabs or your smooth quartz slabs. You're going to place down two and one up and then you're going to place down one like that. And we're just going to pretty much mirror exactly what we did on that side to this side. Whoops. And as you guys can see, that should look the exact same. So now we're going to come up to, I think that is one, two, oops one two three four five and then on the sixth box you should place down another upside down staircase like so so it should be adjacent to this or parallel or whatever you want to call it geometrically speaking it's going to be in the same line as this slab right here and then we're just going to duplicate what we did down there so one upside down staircase two slabs then another slab just above those two slabs and then you're just going to mirror this on that side as well like so so it should look like this okay so moving on the back bit we're going to build a little mini cross same as the other side so you're going to go up this half slab and on the next full block you're going to punch it out then go up three more blocks you're going to punch out three more blocks so it should be four blocks total that you punched out then on this uh, third block right here so you know one two three you're going to punch out the two adjacent blocks and then we're going to place down our frog light or glowstone whatever one you have Place the frog lights down vertically, and then on the sides you can place them down horizontally. Then a set of upside down staircases, we're going to use regular, um, regular staircases, you know, that's how I call them, just not upside down. <laughs> the opposite of upside down. And you're just going to place those on those four blocks right there, and we're going to place down a couple slabs right here. And that'll be it for that backside. Okay, so let's move on to the windows. Honestly, we probably should have done this a little bit earlier on in the build, but the windows are pretty simple. You're just going to punch out the four blocks right here, and we could actually do that for all four windows, or you could do it at one at a time. It doesn't really matter what order you do them for, but we'll do these two first. So we'll place down our vertical frog lights like so, or you can place down glowstone. Like I said, they are interchangeable, and you can place down your trap doors like so. Make Do make note that I do have all my trap doors in the center right there, so if you want to place down the trap doors the exact same way as me, do it like that. And we're just going to do that the exact same for all four sides. So we got our frog lights or glowstone in there. Then we're going to place down these trap doors in the middle. And then we're just going to uh, unfold them like that. And you're going to do the exact same thing on the back side. Just so you guys can see what the windows look like on the back side, that's what it looks like. All right, so congratulations for all of you who made it this far. You've completely finished the outside of the build. So give yourself a pat on the back if you've been building along, if you've just been watching the video. Also give yourself a pat on the back for watching my video. <laughs> Thank you a lot. Uh, regularly, regularly speaking, you're not going to see these white and red stuff as you see over here. There's going to be grass, so keep that in mind. But now we're just going to punch out the entire floor 
and we're just going to move on to the inside. So like I said, the first thing you're going to want to do is clear out the entire floor. So you're just going to go around the sides, whatever way you want to do it. It doesn't really matter how you empty out the floor, but we're just going to make a room or we're going to make ourselves some room to place down the floor. Okay, now that you have the entire floor emptied, we're actually not going to fill up the floor just yet. We're actually going to go around and with our frog lights or glowstone or whatever one you want to use, any light block, you're just going to go underneath all these staircases underneath the pillars and you're just going to punch out the blocks and you're just going to replace them with lights. And this is just going to help up light up the build during nighttime because like I said, um, it's been daytime this entire time because I have it set to that time. But during nighttime, this build actually does get super dark on the inside. So whenever like we can get an opportunity to use like some type of light source and it be hidden or like a part of the build, as you can see, then we'll obviously take it. But as you can see, we're just going to go around all around like that with our glowstone or frog light. All right, moving on to the flooring, let's start off with taking out our spruce planks and our red concrete. So we're going to place down two blocks right here, and then we're going to place down three red concrete like this. So this red concrete should be, you know, in the same like width or area as the uh, door. So and now we're just going to come across like this with our red concrete, and we're just going to build across this entire strip. Honestly, there are some areas where you could probably save on red concrete, like right here where the altar is, but you don't have, you don't have to. It is what it is. So now that we got this filled in with all this red concrete, we're just going to fill in the rest of everything or the rest of the holes or the flooring with just spruce wood, like so. So now that we got the uh, floor done, let's take out our birch trap door and our regular birch door, and let's actually finish up the uh, door frame. Probably should have done this a little bit earlier, but let's take our door. And we're actually going to go to the second block right here, and we're going to look towards the front, and we're going to place down the door. So it's like this. Now we're going to go on our back side, and we're going to place down our birch trap doors. So we're going to place down one right there, one right there, and we're just going to unfold it all like that. To be honest, uh, you want to keep like somewhat a relative pattern for all these doorways. You can see that I'm placing them down on the ground so these little black bits meet right there, but you could do those little black bits meet uh, up top right here. It doesn't really matter how you do it. But yeah, just try to make it look symmetrical. So now that we have the door frame done, let's move on to the seating. So we're going to start off by taking our oak staircases and our oak signs, and we're going to start placing down the blocks. So we're going to count out three blocks from here. One, two, three. And then on the fourth block, we're going to place down a staircase like that. And we're just going to come across like this until we get this one gap in between here. So if you guys want, you could actually mark down where you want all the staircases. So we're going to place down one staircase right here and we're just going to leave a block gap and we're going to do that for seven rows and seven rows on uh <laughs> and then the rows is just going to extend to each side sorry it's a little bit confusing uh when i talk about it but you'll see so we have five six seven seven staircases i believe yep and we're just going to pretty much replicate that on this side like i said we're just marking it down for us that way we have an easier time building across but you're just going to build across like this, leaving a one block gap in between. So now that you have all the staircases placed down, we're going to take down our uh, dark oak sign and we're going to use it as like handles. So you're just going to go around the sides of all the staircases and you're just going to place them down like this for each of the rows. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side. And we're going to replicate what we do on this side to the other side. Now we just have to build the uh, little podium or altar, whatever you want to call it. And yeah, we're almost done with the build. So you're going to start off with this middle pillar in the back side of the build. And you'll place down four blocks like so for these great concretes. And then on the each sides of these concretes, you're going to place down two blocks. So you're going to have a width of five blocks total. And then you're just going to fill in this little bit right here. Like this. And then on the side, you're just going to pillar up or not pillar up. You're just going to build out three more blocks. So it's one block short of that. Then with our smooth court staircases, we're going to place down some upside down staircases on both sides of the build, like so. And then for the front bit, we're just going to place down one staircase like that, one staircase like that. Then in the middle, we're just going to place down some courts, and then we can place down some more staircases, just like that. Okay, so before we build the altar, let's actually add some additional light sources in this build. So... We're actually going to take our regular staircases and you can start on whatever side you want, but we're just going to place down a regular staircase like that with a lantern underneath. Like I said, this build does really lack lighting. I can't stress that enough. Trust me. I know. 
Um, so you're just going to go around with these regular staircases whenever the pillar meets up with something. Whoops, not an upside down staircase. But in these gaps, you're just going to, on the front side and back side, you're just going to put it down a regular staircase, follow it up with a lantern. Moving on to the final part of this build is going to be the altar. So in order to build the altar, we can place down, for your reference, we could place down the lectern right here. Not even for re reference, we're going to have to place down the lectern anyways. But in the center, you're just going to look, or it's going to be one block away from this front part right here, and you're just going to place down the lectern right here with a book inside. And then you're going to place down one temporary block right here. You'd crouch, you're going to place on an upside down staircase, and we'll repeat this on this side as well, so that we get a little table right there. Then with our candles, we're just going to place down a candle on each side, and it should be like this. So for the final bit of this build, you're just going to grab your flint and steel, and you're going to go up to the candles, and you're going to light both of them. And with those two candles being lit in, congratulations, you have finished this entire build. If you've been building along, of course, if you've just been watching, then congratulations for watching the entire video from start to finish. I really appreciate that. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you do enjoy my content, please do consider subscribing to my channel and liking this video. But as always, if you guys do like these tutorials, maybe I'll start some more in the future. But thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.